All right, so I had the brilliant idea of making and uh, editing a tutorial from midnight to 2 a.m. last night, and it could have been done better. Um, so I got a few uh, suggestions from the comments um, as far as a slightly better technique, which I actually really agreed with. Shout out to D and and uh, and the productions um, for the sick idea that I implemented using masks. Anyway, without further ado, here's the second version of the After Effects weight loss tutorial. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Josh. And Alessio. Hey guys, so we're just here chilling at Ironwell Productions, like I usually do a lot. Guess what we're doing today guys? We're going to show you a simple trick in After Effects. After Effects is something that anyone can do. We're going to show you how to make a bigger person. A, l a larger person. A larger person looks skinnier, and we're gonna make a. Um, you can also do the opposite. You can make a skinnier person look larger. Whatever yeah. you want to do, it's really cool how After Effects can allow you to manipulate reality yeah. and change it. This guy Alessio, crazy talented guy. I was his teacher actually back in the day, back in high school, film teacher. Now he's been in college for quite a few years. LMU, film student, crazy talented, um, director, editor, DP. Um, writer, musician even. He was literally a top student um, in his class over back uh, up in Santa Barbara. After Effects, when did you start um, in After Effects? I started in like eighth grade, uh, just playing around with After Effects, doing like muzzle flashes and stuff like that. So What's crazy guys is, so I was the teacher and I didn't start After Effects until about two years ago. And so he'd always come to class with all these projects he did outside, like showing me stuff. And I was like, oh, <laughs> always crazy impressed. Like, oh dang, that's crazy, how'd you do that? So guys, we're gonna show you this technique. Stay tuned. Alrighty, those of you guys that were following the channel last night will realize that this is actually a re-upload of a video that I actually made late last night at about 2 a.m. It was very late and I started getting a few comments coming in um, telling me, hey, you know, the this effect worked. DJ Khaled, who's the person we're going to make skinny, was made a little bit slimmer, but the effect that I was using affected the walls and it kind of made the, you know, this edge of the wall where the window started bulge. Because this effect basically works the same way a lot of, you know, Instagram apps work that kind of make you skinny. It doesn't only make you skinny, but it kind of uh, warps the, the area around the image. So what we're going to do is we're going to try a different method. That's actually the same method, but it's just a little bit more in-depth. And I'm going to be a little bit more careful as far as how I slap this on. So check this out. I'm still going to use the liquify tool. Before I put that on, I'm actually going to make an adjustment layer. I want to shout out Anda Productions too for giving me... Um, the idea to use a mask, which we're going to actually use as well, um, to kind of limit to the area that the effect is taking place. So uh, what we're going to do first, though, is we're going to actually put the liquify effect on the adjustment layer. And I'm going to show you what this liquify effect does. So this liquify effect gives you the option to have a brush. We're going to make the brush size, uh, like, say, 120-ish. And we're going to use this tool in the liquify effect called the warp tool. I'm going to go in. We actually make it a little bit smaller. I'm now gonna go in a little bit smaller. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. We're gonna click on it, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna make Khaled smaller by warping his body. We're gonna do the front as well. Now, he is being, he is being slimmed down. It looks great. Now, what we're gonna do though, is we have to actually go and um, uh, keyframe this effect. So we're gonna keyframe it using something called the distortion mesh offset. I wanna just give you an example of what's happening. So if I were to go, say, backward in the clip, um, the, the radius of the effect you know, stays in the same place, but DJ Khaled moves. So we wanna keep the radius of the effect right in the middle of his body. So that the effect only affects him. So as you can see, he's staying pretty thin. We're gonna make sure the effect stays right in the middle of his body. That reverse bulge, perfect. He's staying pretty skinny. I'm gonna turn it on and off just so you can kind of see what it's doing. Now, guys, as you can see, it's making him skinny, but it is of course bulging kind of the edges. You know, the lines that are around him are being bulged inward slightly. 
Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use something called a, a mask. We're going to use the pen tool. We're going to make sure that we're clicked on the adjustment layer. And we're going to mask around him. Okay, so what that should have done is it should have contained this effect, the liquify effect within the mask, because the liquify effect is on the adjustment layer. And so, as you can see, it's pretty much done that. Now we're gonna, of course, uh, have to keyframe the mask path to keep it around him. This looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I can see is, you can see where the mask ends, you can kind of see the warp um, between uh, you know this part of the shadow and this part of the shadow. So we're gonna actually try to maybe feather the mask a little bit to try to fix that. Let's try feathering it to nine. And as you can see, it's working pretty well. The only thing that I would say um, where you're going to see a little bit of bulge is right here. It's really hard to fix this, I'll say, just because it's like literally right up against him. Anything, any lines that are right up against your, your person will be very hard to um, keep straight because you're bulging the person inward and the lines are right up against the effect that, that's uh, affecting the person. So. Um, there's a certain amount of bulge um, in the background that you will not be able to fix, especially if you have a background which has so many lines like the one I picked. Um, my solution would be probably pick a cleaner background, more of a solid color. But I think that looks uh, relatively uh, great, guys. You guys have the idea as far as how the effect takes place, and I hope you guys are able to find this useful. Thanks so much for watching again, and please stay tuned for more tutorials to come.